Everybody wants to hear a story, don't they? I could say, hello, I'm Rebecca, I'm the maid. Would you like me to tell you a story? Oh yes, please Rebecca, tell us a story. Well, once upon a time, children, there was a girl. It was a bright, young girl. And she was sick, and she needed some medicine. So she went to the doctor, and she said, Doctor, doctor, it hurts, I need some medicine. But the doctor wouldn't give her any. So she went back again, and she said, Doctor, doctor, it really hurts, I need some medicine. And this time, the doctor went to the door. He locked the door. He said, roll up your sleeve, I need to take a history. So she rolled up her sleeve and the doctor took a history. And then children, he got one instrument to look into her eyes and another to listen to her heart. And when he looked into her eyes and listened to her heart, he asked her to undress. <laughs> he asked her to undress and when she'd undressed he said, I see now how very sick you are. You need some medicine. She said, Doctor, am I going to die? He said, no, you're sick, that's all. You need some medicine. And so the treatment began. <laughs> the treatment was wild, children. It could take place at any time of the day and night, in any part of the city, in any part of her body. Her body became the city. The doctor learned how to unfold her like a map. So one day, the bright young girl decided to leave. She was moving to the country. Now this made the doctor very angry because, you see, he'd broken all the rules as he saw it for her. Grown-up rules. Laws. He'd broken all these laws and he was very angry. In fact, he wept. You bitch, he said, you little bitch. Because you see, there'd been a terrible misunderstanding. The thing the bright young girl bitch had called treatment, the doctor, who of course was sick himself, who craved medicine himself, imagined it to be... What? Something personal? Something human? which is why he followed her. He followed her. He brought his family.